Hi everyone, this video which is being shot at the end of 2018, actually today is the 22nd of December 2018, should have been done on the 22nd of December 2017 uh, because it tells about the genesis of the, of the Bodo's Kitchen. And a lot of people have asked me, what's next? Why are you doing this? Is this your profession now? Uh, mostly because I'm on a sabbatical. But I didn't want to do it then because I want to walk the talk. Uh, before coming back and uh, I, I mean, I'll tell you what this whole idea was and therefore now that I have my 33 published already and as we speak as I speak right now the 34th is getting published on 25th late night 26th early morning uh, putting 34 dishes on Bodo's Kitchen in 2018 which is which exceeds uh, the target by four because I had th uh, 30 so let me now explain to you uh, what's what was the genesis of Bodo's Kitchen right so first, I love cooking. I enjoy cooking. It's a hobby. That's when my just my creative best comes out, uh, you know. And I've been doing this. My, first time I started cooking was my mom's kitchen when I was at the like, 10, 10 years old. Uh, I mean, Aludam, I remember. Uh, and uh, and then, then, then around 2003, 2004, when I really started cooking, you know, coming home and, you know, uh, cooking almost every day, uh, I... I, I I want to write a book. The book that I thought, which I kind of penned, I penned the sketch that one in time was Bodo's Kitchen. I called it Bodo's Kitchen. And I said, a life in a day of Bodo's Kitchen. The reason for that is it's not a food, it is not, it is not supposed to be a book on cooking. It's not like a recipe book. It's a book about cooking, which means what did I do that day? What happened? Why did I make that particular dish? What happened in my life? So that's a day in the life of Bodo's Kitchen. Of course, 2004, then 2005, I got busy with my work, life moved on, and that could never happen. I still remember I have the first draft of that, you know, kind of the, the storyboard of that book, right? And uh, seven, uh, 14 years have passed, and I, you know, in hindsight, I believe that that was the right thing not to have written it then, because it's been so much of enrichment in my life, both from as, you know, looking at different cuisines, having ate right from Mexico City, Buenos Aires, to you know, Singapore to Australia to Japan, not to mention China, and of course the great diversity of food in India that I experienced over the last 14 years. That was one aspect. The other was the culinary experience and the culinary uh, kind of experiments that I did over the years, like the Madrid, being in Madrid and having the eggplant, uh, the the uh, what they call the uh, boiled egg in a white wine sauce, and kind of converting them to an Indian kind of dish. So. So my objective of that book was a twist and a tale, right? And that is what this is about. So in 2000 and, uh, you know, going into my sabbatical year, I've been on a sabbatical in 2018, uh, I said I will write that book. And my friend, a very close friend of mine said, look, you're not the type of guy who can sit down for six hours and write a book, uh, write for six hours, because it takes, you know. He said, but you are a good storyteller and you've got a gift of gab, I take both as a compliment. I said, why don't you instead do videos? And then you can give it to a ghost writer, and then the ghost writer can write it, and you can edit it, and you can, it solves your problem, and then you don't have to have that intensity of writing. And I thought that was a good idea. So January, I started the preparation. So a couple of things I did. I first created the recipe, the, the, the menu, the, the recipes that I'm gonna do. So I actually aimed at 30. I created the storyboard around each one of those is about a story of my life what I did it, when I did it, starting going back to 1987. Um, the second thing I did, I experimented. So the, if you will see the first three videos are in portrait mode, the, the, the stone potatoes, the cabbage, the flaming cabbage, or even the, um, the cannonball, uh, uh, the, the dal, which are the first three dishes, which I kind of shot between February and, 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 and April. Uh, and then finally, uh, you know, there was a lot of feedback, a lot of inputs, a lot of improvement that has happened. Uh, and then finally in June, I formally launched the YouTube channel. Put those first three dishes and then started doing. Target was 30, I got it 34, which will happen on the 25th of December. Objective is to finish 40 uh, uh, before, before I get back to the, uh, you know, uh, to the street or, 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 or work. And then, and then convert that to a book, uh, uh, through a ghost writer, of course, and I'll edit it. Uh, and uh, the object, and, and the ultimate objective is that book. I want. I'm talking with a friend uh, who is into charity, feed the child kind of, uh, you know, one of those SOS charities that he runs. And what I intend to do is 
print all the copies and donate the first first print everything 100% to charity uh, feed the child so that's that's the objective it's not to monetize it's not my it's not my job it's a hobby and I think now looking back exactly a year back to date because 22nd December 2017 I made some very very critical decisions uh, moving forward and one of them was to do this and I'm very very happy with myself that today Bodo's Kitchen has 34 dishes so that's the story behind Bodo's Kitchen what's next is the book and Bodo's Kitchen will continue but in a very different morphed manner after the 40 dishes so thank you all for your patronage and I would encourage you to kind of subscribe to this enjoy the food because at the end of the day this is all going for a charitable cause which is feed the child cause yeah happy new year and Caesar's greetings from Bodo's Kitchen.